Okay, so here's the deal. Microsoft is constantly making changes to Teams. And based on some of the feedback that I've been getting, it seems like a good time to revisit the more options choices for chats and posts that are kind of hidden in Microsoft Teams. Now, it doesn't really matter if you're using a private chat or a post in a Teams channel. The options are mostly the same. There's a few slight differences that I will go over at the end of the video. So let's use this group chat as the example. If you hover your mouse over any of the messages, you will see a little box pop up that has some standard reactions. Now, one of the changes Microsoft has made is this little smiley face with the plus sign next to it. And this is going to allow you to select a wider range of reactions. The thing to know is these are standard emojis and cannot be customized in any way. The reason I bring this up is a lot of people say, I thought you could change the skin tone on emojis. And you can, but only when you're creating an original message, not when you're doing a reaction. So notice the little dots next to some of these emojis. This means that they do have a skin tone. You can right click and see the available choices. Going back to the more options, if the message you're hovering over is your own, the next icon over you will see looks like a pencil and this allows you to edit your own messages. Make your changes or add additional content and when you're done, click on the check mark to accept those changes. This time I'm going to hover over somebody else's message and instead of the edit pencil, you're seeing this little arrow icon, which is going to allow me to respond specifically to Adele's message in this group chat. What it does is create a new chat with a copy of the chosen message. This is useful because everyone knows that I am replying to Adele's comment and not Diego's. The rest of the choices are now going to be under the three dots for more options. Copy link is useful when you want to bring a person's attention to a specific message. For example, Nestor is in this thread, but I happen to know that he muted the group chat, so he was not getting notified every time someone adds a response. So to get his attention, I'm going to use the link that I just copied and put it in a message that's just between the two of us. All Nestor has to do is click on the link and he will be taken to the post an outline will briefly appear around the message, making it easier to know where to start reading. This is particularly useful in chats that have many replies. Under the three dots, you will also find the option to delete your own messages. In this example, I want to delete my question to Adele. There will be a brief time where you can undo and recover the message. It usually goes away as soon as the screen is refreshed. And after that, the message cannot be recovered. An underused option, in my opinion, is the pin feature. This will allow you to pin one message to the top of the chat or post so that everyone can find it without reading through several messages. Now, please keep in mind that the pin or unpin action is for everyone in the chat or channel. If you would like to unpin your message, go to the three dots on the far right side of the screen and select unpin. This will give you a floating dialog box letting you know that the unpin will impact everyone. Simply click OK. The next option that I use a lot is Send to Outlook. I know some people prefer to get an email versus a message in Teams. So when I click on the three dots and select Share to Outlook, Teams is making a connection in the background and it's creating an exact copy of the message I selected. Now from there, I can put in additional comments of my own before I send it. Once I do send the message, it's going to pop up in the recipient's inbox. Now I like the formatting because you can clearly tell the difference between what is the team's message and what I typed in there. Now this is where Microsoft is really trying to hide something from us. If you click on the three dots for more options, you will see an additional menu for more actions. What you see here is going to depend on what the admins at your company have enabled, but two of the most common ones I see is create a new poll and create a task. In this example, I'm just going to select create a task. A floating dialog box is going to pop up and I can quickly turn this team's message into a task that I need to complete in either to do or planner. 
Now it is time to switch to looking at the options you will find in a message posted in a Teams channel. The first difference I would like to point out has to do with the delete option. In chats, you can only delete your own messages. In Teams, the owner can delete any message by any member using the default settings. Also, the owner can choose to take away your option to delete your own messages. This is not possible to remove that option from a chat. Another noticeable difference is the reply option. In chats, you have to look for it under more options. However, in Teams channels, the reply button is at the bottom of any post and you can reply more than one time because they are meant to be threaded conversations. Shared Outlook is slightly different as well. When you select a conversation, the whole thread is copied to your Outlook versus just one reply. I think this is great when the conversation I send to Outlook is complex or has a lot of replies. It keeps all the context in one place. 